Hello and welcome to Invisible Apartment. I am RMP792 and you will notice that at the top we have this bar. That's simply because this game does not, to the best of my knowledge, have an actual full screen mode. I'm having to just effectively completely record my desktop. Which, I'll admit, I fully, you know, I, I prefer when games are fully full screenable. It always feels weird to me when they're not, but, you know, it's free. I can't really compare it complain complain about something like that. So, why am I doing this this week? Well, in all honesty, because it's not supposed to be very long. Um, you know, I've got a busy couple of weeks ahead of me for one thing or another, so I kind of need something I can get done fairly quickly. But, you know, just because it's not meant to be too long doesn't mean it won't be interesting and potentially good. So, let us begin. <laughs> We find ourselves in one of the business districts of New Jessica. Business as usual, customers are coming in during their lunch break. A well-dressed girl wearing sunglasses sits in a corner of the cafe, and she blends in perfectly with a crowd of office workers, with a both, with both a confident, with a both confident, okay, fair enough, with a both confident and sneaky smile on her face, she touches her coffee cup with her lips, barely reducing it by a drop. Are we in yet? She whispers to herself and barely moving her lips. We are. We are connected through the cash desk software now, preparing to connect to the central authority server through the link to the tax office, says a voice coming from her smart glasses. She sits like a rock, surrounded by chatting and laughing people. It's a busy place. And for a moment, it looks as if she's ready to freeze a stone. Hold on. There is another user at the server. Run! Okay, let's slowly exit the cafe through the main entrance. She takes a deep breath, slowly stands from her table, and heads to the exit. What are you doing? Run away! Shut up! At her way out, she manages to smile at the waiter, and he smiles back. She exits the cafe slowly and walks down the street. At first glance, it might appear as if she forgot to breathe, or maybe she's holding her breath. In the distance, we see men in dark uniforms enter the cafe where she sat just a moment ago. She turns left at a corner, and it seems as if she's walking faster. Then, even faster. At the park. You are safe now. Don't kill yourself. Meet Bunny. Sorry, we have a lot of data through. Oh, it better be worth it. Bunny just attempted to break into the servers of the Central Authority to hack it through hacking a POS, a cash desk software which by default is permanently connected to the Central Authority's Tax Bureau as a way to prevent merchants from committing tax fraud. This is New Jessica, a free trade zone created around the cultural city of Old Jessica and the Central Authority. It's a buffer zone, built to elevate trade with the outside world and at the same time preserve the culture of Jessica. This is the high-tech capital of a new generation, a generation set to reach out to the stars. gone through the logs from earlier. They're very interesting. I just confirmed it. I wasn't alone on the Central Authority server. Correct. Is that how I've been found out? Was it an admin? Negative. The person who stumbled upon the server you were on was indeed the reason we were found out, but it's a different way than you think. Go on. The alarm was triggered because of the second person, but they followed your connection for some reason. There's no information on if or how the Central Authority proceeded with the other person. He or she disconnected before the tracking started. We're the only ones who recorded the connection of the other person before they cleaned up and disconnected. Another hacker, you say? Can this be a coincidence? There's a chance of a mi over a million to one you would stumble on another hacker at the same time. Then an alarm would be triggered on the central authority, would go after you and not the exact same time, not, uh, the not them at the exact same time. Someone wanted me to, to, to be caught. Or did they just want to reach out? Did they want to make a point? What? What? Was this just a sick plank? I can't speak at all today. <laughs> sick prank, not plank, you idiot. Ugh. This is why we need water on hand. <clears throat> There's no way of answering that at this moment. Is someone else just playing around on the servers of the Central Authority? Is someone mad or just too good? 
Do we have enough data to track down the connection? We have enough to get to the first proxy through which the other hacker connected, but a remote connection isn't possible. This will take some time. Get prepared. We're going to find the next access point to the proxy through which the other hacker connected. The city's just huge. What are you saying? You know it well. This is where you grew up. Oh, on the contrary. The suburbs where I grew up were, of course, different from the centre. For 18 years, I dreamt of escaping the dull life I lived. <clears throat> well, congratulations. Did you also dream of being homeless? Did you locate the source already? I'm narrowing it down. Please remain in the current perimeter I have marked on the map. Sooner or later. Oh right, I've been playing these characters the wrong way round. Based on the way it was uh, written, I assumed that Bunny was the one... Uh... Oh well. Should I keep up the same voices? Yeah, why not? Sooner or later, I'll smash into something just looking at the map in my glasses. Yep, I'm gonna fall on my nose. Bunny follows Mask's lead for hours, and they search for proxies through which the connection was established one by one. Got it. I got it. Elaborate. It is strange, though. I seem to lose track in this location. How large is the area? Six blocks. Oh, that could be anything. A hacked POS router, an apartment's AI. <laughs> Give me a list of all the systems you can find in the perimeter. I'll go through them manually. Seriously? That's thousands of connected systems. Match all devices with their geolocation and get me the city's residential database. Please. Bunny goes through a huge list of all the devices connected to the network that Mars could find in the area where they lost track of the connection. 2,500, 2,502. Yeah, I must be dehydrated. I cannot really say I know how that feels. Are all the apartments required to have network connections? You already know the answer. They do, according to SIG3 regulations. Well, I've been matching the list of connected systems you gave me with addresses. I noticed something. Do all apartments have an entry in the city's database? Again, according to city regulations. Okay, okay! Anyway, you either didn't give me the whole database, or there's one address missing. How could you know there's an address missing? I don't. I just went through 2,500 addresses, managing them to the connected systems, and I noticed an inconsistency. The database you gave me seemed to skip one entry. I see one connected device. A residential terminal without any address assigned to it. An, N an AI like me cannot make these kind of speculative decisions. Let's check out apartments 25, 2500 and 2502, see if we can find the connected device without an address near them. Soon, they arrive in the depart at apartment number 2501. Hello, travellers! This is the house 2501. It is uncommon to meet someone out here in the emptiness. Emptiness? House? You are an apartment on the 42nd floor of a high-rise building in the new part of New Jessica. Your voice, your voice comes from the emptiness that surrounds me. How did you find your way in the dark? It's already hacked badly. Yes. The AI is... The AI is messed up. A mentally ill AI should guard this place? Can you get us in? I already have. Open the door. How did you... This AI is easy to hack using a different connection. Its intelligence is almost wiped out. That's the trade-off to hacking it. So now we're invisible to the outside? Bunny lays down on the couch in the middle of the room, and she's exhausted from the search. Mm, nice couch. You should not fall asleep here. Are you listening, hey? She falls asleep. It's possible she might be an idiot. When she wakes up, it's already evening and nothing's changed. She's lying on a couch in the middle of an apartment which, according to any record, doesn't exist. Although it might be a concern for someone to stay at a place they broke into, Bunny is calm. She realises that this place is not on the radar of the city's officials, so she doesn't expect them here. Does this place even have an owner? According to the records, there is no one owning this apartment. I know, I mean, the person who went through the trouble to make this place invisible. We'll backtrack the connection through the apartment's AI first thing in the morning. Run the preparations. We'll be geo-tracking again. I walk on the edge. Step here, 
a step there. I make a decision not to step into the abyss. If I step off the edge, I will drop like a rock. Or will this world forgo? Oh, this laws, and will I fly like a bird? Wishful thinking. The only thing that excites me while I balance is that I make the decision myself to stay alive each and every moment. No one can take this away from me. No one can influence me at this very moment. I go to the rooftop and walk on the edge to experience the freedom of choice. If I decide to make a step into thin air and end it all, then it was my certain decision, and only my decision, however foolish it might have been. Here we go. Do we have a lead? As usual, I can backtrack the connection to the next proxy. To the next proxy. Wonder how long we'll continue like this until we, until we hit a dead end. You are being pessimistic today. This is not like you. I've been thinking. We might have a chance had a chance of meeting the hacker who's behind this if we stay in the hack department. That's quite dangerous. On the one hand, the hacker might indeed want to use the apartment as a safe house at one point. On the other, it may be found by authorities the same way we found it. I know, but it's a double-edged sword. If the authorities come marching in, we'll pretend we're just squatters who don't know anything. The door was open. Duh. The authorities are one thing, but you cannot predict the reaction to the person who is using the apartment as a proxy. You are on someone's turf. Although you may have a romantic image of the other hacker, he may not be a giggly teen like you. Oh, shut up and go to hell. Hell is a human construct. Should I stop the search? Oh, no, no. Did I ever tell you how much I like you, smart mask? I shall continue tracing the route of the connection. Please follow the map. Oh, by the way. Yes? You will not wipe out my memory if the Central Authority found you, right? I thought you had an escape plan. Wouldn't you upload yourself somewhere? Please promise you wait for the upload to finish. I promise. This is quite important to you. It is the difference between living and dying. Is this not important to humans? Sorry. I suppose you are one of the awakened AIs after all. This is it. A hospital? Are you sure we're at the right place? 99.98.7839% sure. Better than me, even when I'm confident. Interesting. It's a sleeper. Sleepers are people who are ill, but there isn't a cure for them at the present time. They're held in an artificial coma in their bodies in hibernation, in what is called a sleeper cell. So the connection came from this sleeper cell's computer. Now that we know this is the next proxy, what will you do? Pretend you are a nurse? No clue yet, but we need to connect to it. Just a moment. I'll go through the terminal settings, and you try accessing the hospital's network. Bunny looks around and approaches the cell's terminal. We might set off an alarm. I'm prepared. Then she hears something, and she takes a step back from the terminal. Looks around, but doesn't see anyone. Hmm. Attack it now. This needs to go fast. As Bunny connects to the sleeper cell terminal, the person inside the sleeper cell twitches. Ugh, not good. Wonderful. Hmm. Well, we've been nobbled from behind, so... Well, if you're trying to break free of that on your own, you go for the obvious thing. You stamp on the other guy's foot. It's quick, it's brutal, and it gets the job done. Well, I say brutal. If you do it properly and you're wearing the right shoes, it can be pretty damn brutal. Seriously, with the right amount of pressure in the right spot, you can impale somebody's foot with a high heel. Providing it's a sufficiently pointy heel. Uh, so let's try and break free on our own. Let me go! Let go! You know, without clothes I'm all ugly. I look like a boy. I agree. Shut up! As it... As if that's why I'm holding you. Now tell me, why were you hacking the sleeper cell terminal? Uh, I've got to say, she's terrible at struggling against other people. Um, lie to him? Let me go. I, I work here. 
Yeah, alright, tell me another one. Why are you hacking the sleeper cell terminal? Let me go and I'll tell you. I'll take your smart mask and give it back to you once you tell me everything. No, not my mask. I'm starting my upload now. No, please don't leave me alone. I'll get you back. Please stay for a moment. I'll tell you everything. Promise you'll give me back my smart mask. It's a deal then. I'm tracking a connection. What kind? Another hacker. Why? Why are you tracking another hacker? Because I'm all alone. What do you want to hear? There are a lot of hackers out there. Why this one? You changed your hair. When he freezes. Yeah? Which color was it before? Pink. I've seen the footage of you from the business cafe. I don't want to go to prison. Why are you tracking this one hacker? I've encountered him at a certain server. Does anybody else have any clue what the hell is going on here? <laughs> yeah, there is a little thing called establishment, guys. You, you're uh, kind of failing at it at the moment. I'm not saying it won't pick up later, but at the moment I am completely bloody lost. I see, but why this sleeper cell? This is a proxy. A proxy? The sleeper cell's terminal is where the connection came from. The young man looks at the sleeper cell, surprised. That's why I assume the hacker is using these terminals as proxies. I just wanted to get the information on the next proxy. I'm not interested in the sleeper cells, I swear. Bring me to the last proxy. You shouldn't even touch the sleeper cell equipment. Well, there goes my hideout, funny thanks to herself. If you show me the previous proxy, then we'll move closer to when I give you back your mask. Okay. What's your name? Nobody. Don't I deserve to know your name? No, you don't. I'll take you to the previous proxy. I'll do that, okay? Call me Bunny. Bunny takes the man to the hideout she just acquired. I see. So the apartment's terminal's been hacked. Yes. Yeah. It's quite a nice place, too. When will I get my mask? Bunny, listen. You promised to give it back. Listen. What you're doing here is dangerous. Give me all the data you have and we'll figure this out together, okay? You have only demands. And you're a kid. <sighs> I'll do my best, okay? I wanted you to be arrested, then you'd already be in jail. But there is another way to handle this. Should I be your cheap informant? I want you to stop bouncing on the edge. But he gives the man a memory card. Here's your mask. Hey, nice to be home again. Thank you. Now promise me that you won't try to hack the sleeper cell terminal again. Yes, I promise. Don't do anything stupid, okay? I'll help you. How? You don't know anything about me. I'll help you, okay? Just trust me. I don't know why you're doing all this, but I can't have you destroy yourself. Why do you care? Besides, you didn't even tell me your name. Neither did you. Nor did your parents name you after a cartoon character. It's Alex. Let's meet here tomorrow. Is that a yes? I'll be here. It's not like I have her anywhere else to go. Look, if you really care, then please leave now. After Alex leaves, Bunny runs out into the street and heads to the park. Yeah, I have no goddamn clue what's going on here. Hours fly by until it's morning. You know, I'm scared and excited at the same time. I noticed rapid movement of your fingers. In other words, my hands are shaking, yes. On one hand, I want to act like an action hero, but on the other, I'm scared when confronted. You promised him that you will meet him again? <sighs> I haven't talked to anyone in ages. Hello? <sighs> a human. I haven't talked to a human in ages. I'd almost forgotten what conversation means. And now someone's telling me that he's on my side? During the time I spent with you, I concluded that you fear being confronted with uncomfortable truths. You're contradicting yourself all the time. AI, logic, don't make me laugh. You are far from laughing. In fact, I believe you're almost crying. I'm sorry if you would disagree with my analysis. On one hand, you want to be part of these people, but on the other, you fear them. I am merely reconnecting your current stance. I won't run away this time. Don't worry about that. Second encounter. Are we suddenly playing, um... Serious Sam? Mm. 
Please, come with me now. Bunny takes the man to the rooftop. Why are you taking risks the way you do? You're still so young, you could do anything you please. I haven't heard something that naive in a long time. Don't be offensive, I'm just trying to talk with you here, and you're making it hard. You know, I have a friend of mine who likes to basically find every possible sexual innuendo he can in anything anybody says. He would have had a bloody field day with that last line. Now thankfully I'm slightly more mature than he is. Slightly. <sighs> okay, okay, it's not like I have a choice, you see. I want to lead a normal life, earn a decent living, be part of society, and friends again. I fear I'm slowly forgetting what that feels like. Why don't you live normally? Some of us just can't. I can't lead a normal life unless I win a war for it. Go on. I've been caught when I was still a teen for hacking. I was really good though, so I thought. Nevertheless, I have a record. A record for hacking disqualifies you from any decent job in this society. They won't let you touch a computer. People don't trust you. Once I finish school, I realize the city wants to dissolve me, to kill me. It doesn't want to kill you? Right. Anyway, I don't accept this. I don't accept this. This flesh wound. And I don't care about anything else than making it invisible. Let it disappear. The person who made an apartment disappear from the database of the Central Authority is deep enough in their infrastructure to help me out too. I want my name to be clean again. We live only one life. Should I accept their stupid rules? It could just leave. Life, life doesn't only exist within the borders of this city. Should I be growing vegetables like the empty-headed fools who live in the countryside? Should I escape to that? What's the difference there? Oh, all right. I guess we vegetable growers don't even know how to use a toilet, do we? I came from the outside, from a small town. I'm sorry. In my opinion, you have an elitist point of view. No, see, I don't want to make millions. No, no, it's not about money. It's not about that at all. The families of old Jessica, Central Jessica, they all have one truth. They're dogmas. So they disqualified you from a life in New Jessica. That's their loss. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you in New Jessica, near the sharks? I don't care about the same things you do. I have other goals. The cell you tried to hack the other day. My mother is the sleeper. She's in the tank. And you tried to mess with the terminal, which keeps my mom alive. I just want to be close to her, that's why I'm here. I couldn't care less about a career or public life or anything like that. Of course, I'm trying to be helpful to society while I'm here. Yeah, I seem to be an ice queen. Yeah, I'm an ice queen. You must think I'm a spoiled brat. Please don't do anything stupid. We'll figure this out, okay, bunny? My name is Casey. After Alex leaves, Casey falls asleep, and she has a dream. She's floating above the city, not falling, nor progressing upwards. There's an intense light everywhere, and sunbeams make her warm, and she can't remember a single problem, or a single face, or a obligation. Here, she feels free. It seems as if no one sees her, and life on the streets below her continues. People are in a rush, as always, laughing, arguing, doing everything as usual. And then she remembers. In an instant she begins to fall and the sunbeams turn to chilling wind. She feels frightened. Right before she hits the ground she opens her eyes and her heart is beating fast. This is one of those dreams that she remember vividly. Why are my best dreams the ones in which I die? Maybe you wish to change. Is dreaming of death not symbolic of your desire to escape? I have nothing to escape from, only things to escape to. I have nothing but myself. You are being pessimistic again. Let's go shopping. You mean shoplifting? However you call it. Fact is, I can't live off air. The man asked you not to do anything stupid for now. Alex, yes. In that dream he reminded me of myself, but... But then I fell. Will he destroy all my dreams? Is it a reminder of reality not a good thing? Oh, you're being too philosophic. Let's go. Are you sure? Yes, let's make use of our time. I'll leave the ears part here just in case. Stay connected, record everything. I don't want anyone sneaking in while we're gone. Okay. 
when he goes to a mall to hack into the POS software to get some groceries. It's simple. She lies in the mall, have a smart glass to do their pre-programmed thing, perform something that could be called cashless payment at the counter, and leave as fast as possible. The advancement of mobile and cashless payment has created a new class of hackers who specialize in hacking payment terminals and cashing desks in malls or restaurants. You don't need to give anyone a physical paper currency, everything's digital. And where there's a digital link, there are hackers. She's still in a dreamlike state, thinking hard about the other day when she met Alex and about the events that preceded it. I need to make sense of it all, and I'm getting closer to my goal. Well, is it drifting further away from me? Now I realize that my original plan is getting old. Days became weeks, weeks became months, and now I'm afraid that the few years that I'm doing this will slowly drive me into a corner that can only be viewed as a failure. Am I on the right track? Even though Alex is on the opposite side of the fence, he's by far the most normal and at the same time mysterious person I've met in a long time. Casey doesn't notice the warning message in her smart glasses. Men in uniforms enter the mall and the mall's entrance closes with a beep. And that's when she notices that something is wrong. Her heart seems to jump five beats, but it's too late. She looks at the security agents as they approach her, and she's got a confused look on her face. Is this it? Oh, it's such a ridiculous way to get caught as well. I'm better than this. I'm much better than this. I'm too sleek to get caught like this. Casey screams for the last time before the guards grab her and take her away. Meet Londo. But I think that's probably a reasonable enough point to end this first video and say I have no goddamn clue what is going on, and I will see you in the next part.